The 45th edition of Paris's International Contemporary Art Festival is upon us once again and will be open to the public until Sunday at the capital's Grand Palais to discuss what you're likely to find there and, of course, the wider trends at play in the world of contemporary art. Uh, I'm joined on set now by Mathilde Leroy, who is the founder of Casoar, an online art gallery. Thank you very much for coming into the studio to talk to us today. Thank you. Um, yours is an online gallery. The FIAC exhibition is very much... Uh, a physical exhibition is the way we're consuming and also buying art changing yeah definitely um, uh, buying art has always been considered as elitist and uh, 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 focused on uh, very wealthy people but the image of art is changing thanks to art galleries such as Caso Art. what we do at Caso Art is we try to democratize uh, the act of purchasing art and so uh, we make it very easy to discover independent artists that are uh, affordable and we select them and it's very easy to browse on the website uh, to have criteria, search criteria just like in any e-commerce site and also we have art advisors that uh, answer questions very easily so most people who were intimidated but liked art, now it's very easy from their, from their house just uh, to go on the web and start browsing and finding art without intimidation. And what, in your opinion, are the newest uh, trends that you're noticing in the world of contemporary art, uh, in both subject matter and also form, the way it's presented? Well, I would say that um, there, uh, at the FIAC it's very, very sensitive as well. Uh, a lot of artists are um, very um, uh, implicated, uh, I mean, denouncing uh, all the, the, the problems in the world. Uh, uh, we can see at the FIAC uh, artworks about Trump, about climate change, about war. And so uh, I found it was uh, very, um, I mean, denouncing art uh, this year. More politically active but than exactly, in the past. Exactly, yeah, that, that's what I meant. Uh, that's something I noticed. I mean, art has always been engaged. Artists have always, always been engaged. But this year, I think it's, uh, it's more accurate. And, uh, but the other thing is that uh, there is a need for beauty. There, I mean, art has always li been linked to beauty. Of course, art can be uh, conceptual and not beautiful. But I think it's necessary also to, to recall that Art can also be beautiful, and uh, it's also very uh, uh, nice to have a, a nice artwork in in your uh, in your uh, in your room in your house, and so that's also something we're promoting on Casual Art. You can have. Uh, uh, crush on, a, on an artwork and there is no need to understand the philosophy and even the artist uh, um, biography or anything. If you just have a, a crush, if you just fall in love with this artwork, that's uh, enough to buy an artwork and that's something that needs to be, to be said, I think. <laughs> This year's uh, FIAC exhibition is bringing together uh, exhibitors uh, from some 25 countries. Yeah. Is there an extent to which contemporary art can be used as a kind of means of dialogue, or is it just really everyone who's out for themselves, the galleries trying to make as much money as they can? How does contemporary art fit into the kind of the diplomatic scene? Yeah, oh, well, you're right to say that, um, of course, there is a lot of business uh, at stake uh, at the FIAC and uh, the media always talk about the skyrocketing prices of artworks purchased by very famous uh, collectors. And it's, it's also part of the art market. But uh, it's true that um, there is also, um, I mean, there are messages, as I said. And uh, when you visit FIAC, you are touched by the artworks. You understand the messages. And uh, uh, behind the artworks, there are artists that create, uh, I mean, for, for nothing for the beginning. Uh, I mean, creating it is something that is necessary in our world. And uh, it's very far away from all this uh, glamour um, world of uh, the art market. So there are two separate ideas, but uh, the, the, um, the genuine creation is, is I think, uh, still existing. <laughs> and that's a good thing. <laughs> Five of the uh, galleries exhibiting the FIAC this year are Chinese, and that's compared to two um, last year. Mm -hmm. Is China uh, really proving its mettle as a, as a big dog in the contemporary art world? Yeah, definitely. It's been a few years now that China is very, very important on the art market scene. It's now the second biggest market on the 
uh, in the world, uh, just behind the U.S. and uh, f uh, across uh, very close to the U.K. Uh, Chinese artists are now very, very uh, appreciated. And also Chinese uh, collectors are getting more and more active as well. So uh, a lot of activity on the art market is, is going on in China between Chinese artists and uh, Chinese collectors. And of course, we see some part of it at FIAC uh, because more and more uh, Chinese art gallery t uh, try to, to uh, well, uh, applicate and more and more get uh, uh, presented at FIAC. So, yeah, it's developing, definitely. And if uh, there was one artist right now who you think is really doing something different, something to look out for, who is that person? Oh, good question. <laughs> I'm sure. Um, um, I would say, um, well, I, I was very touched by an artwork uh, at FIAC by Katharina Gross. Uh, it, well, everybody talks about it because it's huge. It's uh, big pine trees uh, with uh, uh, painting on it and uh, a canvas, a canvas, a painting canvas behind the the trees and so uh, it's a kind of allegory of uh, uh, defending painting. Uh, you know, painting is, a, is an old technique, but it, it says that painting is still very, very vibrant and uh, there's a lot of creation just with painting and not with uh, crazy installations. I'm uh, looking forward to seeing it. Mathilde Leroy, uh, Leroy founder of Casazart, an online art gallery, thank you very much for coming in to speak to us on France 24. Thank you.